Hey everyone, welcome back to another episode of Rick's Gadgets. Today I wanted to show you a project that I just completed, um, and it has to deal with uh, monitoring outside gates. Um, this was something that uh, we just recently had put in and was looking for a solution to monitor the gate to see if it was accidentally left open because uh, I didn't want the dogs to get out. And what I decided to do was I'd already used the, the dome uh, Z-Wave door sensor in my mailbox project. Um, and what I thought about, it's really inexpensive, but the problem is it's not weatherproof. So what I tried to do was I took the sensor and you can see here, you can take the electronics board off of the plastic housing. And I taped up the battery terminals and I took Plasti Dip and sprayed the front and the back uh, with several coats just to kind of seal up the electronics. Um, I don't know how this, this is going to work long term. Um, it's just been in for probably three or four weeks. Um, you can see it's getting wet now. Here's the, the final installation of it. And so far it's working really good. Um, it's kind of with the black on the black rail, you don't see it at a distance. You got to get up really close. I do need to touch up the white spot there um, from where I didn't spray the bottom part of the, uh, the enclosure. But anyway, um, I'll touch that up later. But um, this was a neat project um, because I'm using it for two things. I'm using it to monitor my gate. And also I have invisible fence for my dogs. And um, we put the fence in because we have neighbor in neighborhood dogs that are coming into our yard. And not sure, some of them don't look too friendly. So we decided to fence in the yard to keep our dogs and those dogs out. And, but I still wanted to use the whole yard when we're outside to let the dogs run and play. So what I've decided to do was I put the sensor on the gate and if the gate opens up, I turn on the invisible fence. So that way if I let the dogs out to the front yard, the, get, the fence comes on. And the reason I do this is because the wire going around the back side of the property, when they have the collars on and the fences on, they can't get up to a certain area of the fence and we have neighboring dogs and they like to go up and sniff each other and when the fence is on and they have their collars on they have to stay about a foot or so away from the fence so this allows them to get up next to the fence when they're in the backyard but a quick way to turn it on and let them out in the front yard and it still work so what I did was I just I set up uh, the on off and I did an event for the gate and basically what I said was I come in here and if the gates opened up, I put a module on my invisible fence uh, controller and I just have it come on for about 15 minutes. Because um, usually I just let them run around and play for a few minutes and then we take them back inside. So anyway, I just kind of wanted to show you a quick project, things you can do, you know, outside of things inside the house that you can control outside. So this was a neat little project. Uh, if this works out, I have two gates on, the, on my fence. I will be going back and putting one on the other gate. Uh, like I said, these things are like $15, $16, not too expensive. So if this lasts, I'm gonna give it a few months and see if uh, it holds up. And if it does, I'm gonna get another one and put it on the other side of the, the house. And I'll do the same thing if either gate's open then I'll turn my invisible fence on. So this is a way that the dogs come and go. If somebody accidentally leaves the gate open, hey, no problem. They're still contained with the invisible fence. So anyway, so if you're looking for a quick and cheap way to monitor your outside gates, uh, you might want to give this a try. Uh, I'll report back later to see how it holds up with the Plasti Dip. Um, I have done some other things to kind of waterproof with Plasti Dip in the past, and it does hold up. So we'll see how this goes. So anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this uh, video. And if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. And if you like my channel, please hit the subscribe button. And I appreciate it and look forward to coming back and visiting again. Thank you.